Welcome to Completely Booked, the bonus episode. I'm Curly. And I'm Jenna. Today we have the mayor of Jacksonville on our podcast. I know. Mayor Micah Hall. Yes, he is a nine-year-old elementary school student who was mayor for the day. He's not even old enough to vote yet, but here he was, the mayor of Jacksonville for a day. I would have voted for him, though, wouldn't oh, you Oh, man. Yeah, he was, he was sharp, man. I, yeah. got to, I got to interview him, and he was so nice, super sweet. Best. Great platforms. Mm, yeah. Really agree with his yeah. his leadership style. Really a people's mayor, you know? Yeah, definitely. The people's mayor, mm. Micah Hall. So Micah was nominated by two of his teachers over at Central Riverside Elementary School. And his teachers said when they nominated him to be the kid mayor, they said he's a strong leader who really cares about his classmates. And they also said that the other kids look up to him a lot because he's always the first person to celebrate others' successes, which... Jenna and I and producer Brian are all about. Yeah, I'm everyone's biggest cheerleader. It's true. That's what it's all about. We love that. And there was actually almost 60 nominations this year to be a kid mayor, and Micah was chosen among all of them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So hail to the chief, folks. Here he is, Mayor Micah Hall. Thank you so much for coming on our podcast today. You were the mayor today. Yes. The city of Jacksonville. Tell us about that. How was it? So we got a tour of City Hall and of course we got to meet the mayor and we got to do a proclamation ceremony together. That sounds super official. (laughs) Yeah. Did someone give a long speech? Well, they read the proclamation, probably. Mayor Curry and I get uh, alternated. Oh, that's really official. So I guess let's back up a little bit and tell us how old you are. I am nine. Okay. And what school do you go to? I go to Central Riverside Elementary School. Nice. And how did you become the kid mayor? So my teachers had to nominate me, and then Mayor Curry selected a kid mayor, and he chose me. Wow. How did that feel to be selected? Exciting. Yeah, you're super excited. Did you know that your teachers were going to nominate you for this? Well, I knew two of my teachers were going to nominate me. Okay. And And yeah, and you were excited to be accepted? Yes. Do you like politics? Do you want to be in uh, politics when you grow up? Well, I want to be a basketball player, Mm. but if I don't do that, I would like to be a math teacher. Okay. Is math your favorite subject? Yes. Okay. That's awesome. And um, after spending the day as kid mayor, do you think you would ever want to run the city of Jacksonville? Do you think you could do it? Maybe. <laughs> it doesn't seem that hard, right? It seems pretty hard. <laughs> it seems busy. Yes. He has lots of stuff going on, a really big schedule. I know we've been trying to get the, the mayor on our podcast, and we haven't been able to do it yet. So, you know, kid mayor, you're the first mayor we've had on the podcast. So that's a pretty big honor. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And so when you're not running board meetings and running the city, what do you like to do? Well, I like to play on my Xbox and play with my dogs. Ooh, what are your dogs' names? Ninja and Gracie. Ah. Ninja's a pit bull and Gracie's a German Shepherd mix. Wow, I have cats. <laughs> I'm not a dog person, but I do love dogs. And you said that you play basketball? Yes. Ah, so is there a, a team that you play on or you play with uh, in, in the neighborhood? Um, I play with my mom sometimes and my dad sometimes. So who's better, you, your mom, or your dad? Me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I figured you were probably the better (laughs) basketball player. Do you beat them a lot? Yeah. (laughs) They're both sitting right here. They seem shocked that you threw them under the bus like that. Well, I beat my mom Tuesday night. Uh Uh-oh. So It's going to be another rival. 
<laughs> and we hear that you really like to read as well. What are some yes. of your favorite books? Um, I like The Underdogs by Mike Lupica. It's about football and, well, the underdogs. So mm-hmm. it was really cool of book how you, if you think you can, then you can. Right. I always cheer for The Underdogs. Yeah. What else? Any other um, books? I like Sink or Swim, a novel of World War II. Mm-hmm. It, uh, my gran- my great grandpa fought in World War Two, so it was wow. kind of cool to read on that. Yeah, and has he told you stories about being in World War Two? Mm, well, yes. So you got to kind of read about it too in the book. That's yes. cool. That's awesome. And what's your favorite? Um, what library do you usually go to? This one, ah. the Jacksonville Public Library. Okay, the main library here yes. downtown. That's awesome. So do you, did you grow up coming to story time and stuff? Yeah. Yes. Mom said yes. She definitely brought you here for story time. That's awesome. And so when you want to grow up, you said you wanted to be a basketball player. Yes. Okay. And then what team would you want to play on? The Golden State Warriors. Ooh. Why do you like the Golden State Warriors? Well, it started because they had one good player and then it just stuck with them and now they have five good players. Okay. So. Got a full team. Yes. Who was your favorite player? Stephen Curry. Yeah. I like him too. I also like his wife. She's got a great cookbook <laughs> if you're ever looking for one. <laughs> well, that is so cool. So do you think that um, you'd ever have um, Mayor Curry over for a basketball game? He's pretty into sports too. You should have asked him today. Well, he told me he likes football. Mm. Yeah. I think both of his boys play football. But I bet you could beat him at basketball. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe so. Well, Micah, what else? um, Any other things you want to tell us from your experience today as Kid Mayor? We got a tour of the offices. and Of Mayor Curry's office? And of all, well, not all the offices. That would take a long time. Mm -hmm. But we got a tour of some of them the main offices Mm -hmm. and see where they do their council meetings and stuff like that Ooh, that's pretty cool that's a sweet building don't you think the city hall it's pretty it's really pretty well thank you so much for coming and telling us a little bit about yourself and about being the kid mayor for the day that was a very high honor so congratulations thank you thank you so much for coming and good luck this your year in school thank you Our first mayor on the podcast, guys, he really set the bar pretty high. Micah Hall was quite the mayor. I know. And I really bet he could. I mean, no respect to Mayor Curry, but I bet he could beat him at basketball. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty close. I think you got a challenge there, Mayor Curry. And hey, if you're listening right now, first of all, hello. It's nice. (laughs) Nice to see you. (laughs) Second of all. Please come on our show. We would love to have another mayor on our show. Right. I mean, you'd be the second mayor, which is not as cool, but still be pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. We'd love to talk to you about books, Mm. life, family, the universe, country, Mm. everything. Everything. Everything under the sun. It would be fab. Curry. It would be fab. What kind of toothpaste do you use? Mm. We got so many questions. I got all the questions. Yeah. Well, if you enjoyed this episode with Micah Hall, stay tuned for our next episode coming out on Monday. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't subscribed to our show, please do leave us a review and check us out on social media at Jack's Library. Indeed. Check out some pics of us with Micah Hall, the official kid mayor of Jacksonville on our pay- podcast page, jackspubliclibrary.org slash podcast. This special bonus episode was produced by Brian Thomas, a.k.a. BT, a.k.a. Producer Producer Brian. Brian. Goodbye.